by unknown follower here and back you another day pickup. Some month has finally passed. I'm I'm free I'm free now because I was spending a lot of bills and I had to finish paying for a car. So without further ado, let's uh, start off with pickups. Oh, before that, you can see this black shelf right here. It's also brand new. I'm organizing the room a little bit. You can see all those boxes up there that uh, that are filled with like toys and collectibles. And uh, who knows? I might make a room tour after I'm done rearranging. So. That's if a lot of people ask for it. But well, 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 this time, without further ado, I'll show, I'll show off the pickups for this week. Uh, I went to Goodwill and I found this really awesome retro Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones toy. Pretty, pretty cool. It doesn't say what toy company made it. It just says www.indianajones.com 2001 Lucas Film. So I don't know if like Disney sold this or anything. Or I don't know if Disney will distribute this thing. If, if any of you guys know, please let me know. It looks pretty cool though. I'm thinking just hanging this up for a collectible looks really cool and retro. So yeah. Also got this little Angry Bird. I like Angry Birds and uh, this looks just like Man War when he gets angry so I decided to give it to him. Here. Don't be, don't, don't be sad. And I also got um, Luigi something too. I got them this whole, this whole collection of uh, Beauty and the Beast collector's cards. It's I don't know I don't know why I just found this for like a dollar over there at freaking Goodwill. You can see, look at this. Look, it has concept art. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's got like like scenes from the movie. I know how much uh, I know how much Luigi is a huge fan of that movie. Yeah. It's look so at this. You got the awesome. whole collection right there. Yeah, hope you enjoy it. I mean, it's only a dollar. Yeah, that's my favorite movie too. It's so yeah. freaking red. Okay, yeah, I can't believe it. Charles Collector's Edition. Don't worry. It's a collection. And these things are freaking... Let me see. I'll just put that aside to get it. Uh, the next cool thing, which was probably the best thing we found the Google right there. They had, she had uh, Hero Clicks. Well, before I started with Hero Clicks, I got this really awesome Joker. I think it's like one of those, uh, uh, all I know is he has a kicking feature. It's a Heath Ledger Joker thing. Uh, I think it's for like, used to, I think they used to have these in like, cereal boxes or something like that. It looks pretty cool. So that's, for collection, yeah, that's pretty cool. And, uh, this, and we actually got some really awesome hero clicks. Like, you can see, like, right here, I don't know who this guy is. It's just named Boomerang. They're all Marvel ones, which is pretty cool. I mean, I got Blade here. That's really cool. And we got Magneto. This one's like one of my favorite ones right here. Magneto. I like this one. Pretty cool. uh, Shield Agent Medic. I actually got two of those for some reason. It's got Claw. I don't even know who this chick is. Hydro Medic. Got our shield agent over here. Uh, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch, pretty hot, pretty cool. Professor Xavier, I I remember back in the day when I used to collect these. I still have one exactly like this. So that's pretty cool. I don't know who this guy is either. Blizzard. Uh, oh yeah, I know who Blizzard is. He's from uh, from the event. I mean Iron Man '90s cartoon. That's pretty cool. Got Pyro. I don't know why I just like the sculpt on this. It looks pretty cool. Got the uh, kingpin. And uh, my last favorite four. Um, we got right here Juggernaut. No, no, wait, no. Before I show them. We got this sucky uh, scroll warrior. Before I show the cool ones. Well, that was. Well, here, let me show the cool ones. I got Juggernaut. Looks really awesome. Really, really cool. I got Spider-Man, which is pretty awesome. I think this one might be a, a really rare one because it has a red base. I'm not quite sure. I, I haven't collected these in forever. Only got a, a hand, like not even a handful. So I'll gotta look this up later on. But my favorite one, uh, Hulk. This Hulk one looks really, really awesome. Really, really cool. I'm, I am a, a Hulk fan. Really awesome. 
And I can't wait to watch the Avengers. Well, by the time this is probably uploaded, I probably already have seen the Avengers. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And I also got an unopened uh, Wasp right here. I'm pretty. I think this might be the rarest one. I'm not quite sure on that, but it looks really cool. I mean, I just look. I got a lot of these guys right here. But yeah, got all that for like three bucks. Wasn't bad. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. And now it's. Uh, I'm gonna get on with the retail stuff I got. Well, my actual stores. Uh, my, uh, my little bro, the series man award, got this uh, grab zags or whatever. Pretty cool. I mean, uh, it's basically like a like a mystery pack. You can either get like one of these figures back here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Oh wait, a flashlight or a pen right here looks pretty cool. And uh, he bought he bought this one for uh, my older bro, Luigi. And he got his favorite character in the first one right there. So that's pretty cool. That's Cyclops. Like one of his favorite Marvel characters, you can see the little beam going out there, and the little stand, which is pretty cool because he's doing the Matrix move. I thought that was really cool. I might buy myself one of those. It's really awesome. That was the only cool thing. We got Toys R Us and uh, a little bro. He bought he bought these two next figures, the Marshalls, and uh, the first one is Sub Zero, three and three quarter inch version, and uh, the Shelly Proof. You guy have Marshalls for like six bucks, which is really awesome. And the second figure is a, well, not really a huge surprise, but it's another Sub Zero one, but this one's a six inch figure. But here, let me show you the uh, size comparison. They both have the same bios and you know, pictures, but this one shows the other ones in the way, and this one doesn't. And I think you got it for uh, ten bucks, which is a lot cheaper than Toys R Us. I kind of, I actually wanted a, a Scorpion one, but it didn't have it. All I have is just Sub-Zero. Kind of disappointed in that. Uh, the next cool thing is, uh, um, this thing is really rare around my area, and I got really lucky with this. So I bought the Superboy right here. Really cool. I like the Young Justice show. It's really, really awesome. And uh, I have watched Season 2. It uh, looks really cool. For some reason, it kind of fast forward, which I'm kind of confused, and really wish they showed why, what happened, because... I don't know, all I can see is like crazy stuff happening. Like Superboy is not with the uh, Miss Martian girl, Manhunter girl. Or like something like that. And like Robin's now Nightwing and Aqualad and Flash and Artemis weren't there for some reason. That's kind of weird. But anyways, um, this one's really cool. They also had a Sportsmaster. I might pick him up. I might pick him up soon if he's not taken because uh, um, because well, the target was holding down. And I was low on cash so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But the next, but the best thing we got uh, is probably at our comic book store. And that's uh, round two of Marvel's uh, Avengers vs. X-Men. Pretty cool. Really, really awesome. I'm, I'm really digging this like like mini series. It's really awesome. It's like the biggest thing happening in uh, the Marvel Universe right now. But they just came. This wasn't really the best thing we got. This is the second. Well, so this is still really cool, but. This is the best thing we got for like 60 bucks. At the, I was surprised that you had this in my little comic book store. And we don't usually carry stuff like this, and that's the Play Arch Guy, Arkham Asylum, Batman. Let me tell you, this guy looks really, really freaking sick. Really awesome. Really cool. They also had the Joker. I might buy that one. I'm not quite sure because I don't want to spend too much money. But man, the sculpt on this guy is really, 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 really phenomenal. I mean, he, he even has like like different like uh, detachable capes so you can do different poses. He's come with a battering, a grappling hood, and like interchangeable hands. I really want to get a Joker too, but I'm still thinking about that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So that was the best thing I got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned till next time. Fuller here and back in with another day of pickups. Uh, it's been a little bit crazy this past month because I've been, as you can see, I'm still managed to clean up. And if you can see from the last video or the last clip, basically I was like sitting on the floor and now I have to move all these boxes over here. So I do apologize because it's also like uh, also holding me back from like sending packages as well. So it's uh, it's a little bit late and I expected. But as soon as I get all this stuff organized and hopefully I can find the prizes, then I'll be uh, sending, sending it to you guys. So I'll inform you on that. So without further ado, let's uh, move on to the, to the pickups I got. Okay, I went to Meyer. I mean, not Meyer. We went to Marsh, and my little brother got this thing right here. This Halo uh, wristband, wristband right here. 
from Halo 3, so it's kind of old. It's only a dollar, dollar eighty, no, dollar seventy nine. And uh, my older brother got this really cool looking red arrow. Looks okay to me. I like it. I've been watching him just lately, and it was pretty cool. And as you can see, the price he got for uh, four forty nine, four fifty, basically. So yeah, that was it for Marsh. We just stopped by there. And we knew they had a little bit of clearance, so we did that. Um, next stop, we went to Walmart, and I found this really awesome, uh, I don't know what you call it, DC Universe Hot Wheels, and this is really awesome Batmobile. I just really like that one right there. That was three bucks, or two, two, two fifty, something like that. I don't remember. It looks really cool, though. I did have a couple, I did have the first wave, uh, I didn't really get the second wave. All I know is I really want this Batman, though. I might get the thing, though, if I find it. On top of that, I also found this, uh, really awesome Batman. Movie Masters, uh, you know it's pretty ironic because I've been collecting the uh, the first Movie Masters wave from which is basically the Dark Knight. Or some, uh, basically, and uh, I have all villains and <laughs> no Batman. All I had, the closest thing I have to a good guy was uh, basically Commissioner Gordon, so that was kind of sad. I finally got myself a Batman though. Pretty cool. I like the new packaging too. Looks like it has like the gauntlet right here. You can also build the um, the bat the bat light. A bad signal basically. It's pretty cool. And I also kind of find, find it really funny that Alfred gets his own uh, pig, uh, not picture, figure. So that's kind of funny though. Didn't see anyone else though. And I also found this, I also watched the Avengers movie and that movie was freaking awesome. And I got Captain America. I did find, I uh, couldn't find anyone else. Uh, man, I really want the Hulk though. He's like my favorite one right now. All I found was just Captain America and basically the uh, that bell damage Iron Man, which is basically repaired uh, Mark 7. Or Mark 7, basically. So I had two of those in one of this, so I decided to pick up the Captain America. It looks really cool, really detailed, really awesome. It comes with uh, base. Only one more exclusive. So I have a feeling these figures, the Avenger figures, are going to be really hard to find considering the movie was a huge success. Oh, uh, next stop, I went to Target. I got these uh, G.I. Joe for about uh, 328 Pretty cool. I got a ripcord right here. I watched the Renegade show, it's okay, it's not really cool. I mostly like the, the ninjas, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, but picking up these guys for like a 328 which was a good deal. So I decided to pick them up. I got a Scarlet right here, really cool. also bought the uh, se season one of, well half a season one of Young Justice. 15 bucks, it's like getting like, um, I got 12 episodes, getting three DVD sets in, in, uh, in one. Pretty cool. Um, I have been watching Young Justice um, lately, and it's really cool. I started I, I started watching it when uh, when it had new episodes, and I wanted to catch on the old episodes. I didn't see. I only saw the uh, the, the one hour of premiere, and that's about it. But now I'm not more interested because it's been like five years later, and I don't know what's happened. So I really had to catch up on that. So that was really cool. And also found it. Uh, I found uh, it was really lucky too because I also got this really awesome Sportmaster for 15 bucks. You can see all the accessories, these guys get like a, a javelin, a nunchucks, a boomerang, a knife, a bat. He's got this really awesome stand and like shurikens and another knife right there. Pretty cool. For 15 bucks that was really awesome. And I also got, uh, I did mention I got the uh, Super Boy last time. So then I got the uh, third wave basically. Pretty cool. And uh, the best finds I probably found was at a flea market. I got this... Uh, well, my little bird got. Well, I bought this from my little bird actually. Three bucks. Um, it was three dollars for this. I don't. I don't know if it's an IG88 or Assassin Droid. Basically, really articulated, all complete. And uh, that guy was nice enough to throw this uh, Obi Wan in, which is really, really awesome. Always wanted an Obi Wan clone gear, and it's really articulated. It's got side movement. The one sucky thing is that he didn't come with any accessories, so I just got. This, I just jacked his lightsaber from another Jedi. So that was pretty cool. I would really like it. One of my favorite older ones so far. And um, the reason I say that was a, um, the best pickups I got at the flea market is because I also got this thing right here. I really want to get start collecting this ever since I got the uh, uh, Skeletor in trade. Or I bought him basically. I don't remember. But I, I got a He Man now, which is really awesome. These things cost like 40 bucks a pop at the, at the flea market right at the bottom. But it could be worse. I mean, like some people are paying like 50, 60, a little bit over that for this original He-Man. Not sure to open it or not, but it's really cool. Comes with a full power sword, half a power sword, a shield, and then the axe right there. If you can see it. 
But that's really, really cool though. Really, really awesome. And uh, this one's like my favorite one. The third one, the He-Man's basically Luigi's. This one's mine right here because I really want. I, I'm not a huge He-Man to the mass, uh, He-Man fan. Then I saw this guy. This guy's freaking awesome right here. Drago Man. Really, really cool. I like dragons and uh, this guy just looks really awesome to me. Just couldn't pass this up. And it's pretty unique because this one has a 30th anniversary logo in the back. And uh, I saw like a little bit of review on this. And this is it's, uh, it's a new character only for this toy line. Created by the Four Horsemen who basically sculpts all the DC Universe and all the uh, He-Man figures. So that was really cool. This guy's really heavy too. I mean, it's like, he's a huge figure too. So I decided to pick him up for 40 bucks. That, that wasn't a bad deal. Yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned until next time.